the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. But um, yeah, so yeah, well, like I said, it, it took me a second because when I stuck that uh, spoon and I was like, oh, I already know this is gonna feel be weird. It's gonna be weird. And but again, I don't let it sit. I just take it and then I'm, I'm surprised you did that. Put put in your drink. No, I did. I took it straight to the head. I just want to get it over. High it. High you know what I'm saying? But again, about? it don't have a taste at all. Well, other it's than just ginger, the, it's the, the ginger natural, that I taste, that and it's not a strong is, ginger. Like right. I'm like. Like Where your throat is burning yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that, and you know, like the turmeric gonna taste like turmeric. Turmeric is kind of strong, mm-hmm. potent, but you know. And so, what are, are, are the other some of the other ingredients that you infuse in it to so, add some health benefits to it? Okay, so we have the original one. So prior to me coming here, I did have a bag. I remember you came the other day. You but, had um, a I had bunch a of meeting them. Yeah. Today and they bought all my. Stuff. But that's <laughs> so good that's though. Good no, that's so a good I, problem. That's why I have yeah. much display because mm-hmm. I had like ten of them in here. Yeah. But um. So I have a ginger and elderberry mix. And um, so we all know elderberry, ginger, support mm-hmm. the immune system. Right, right, right. Turmeric, um, inflammation. <clears throat> I had the one with the burdock root and bladder rack mixed with black seed oil and kinasia. I was about to ask you about black seed oil. Like, um, what are your thoughts on that? So my thoughts on black seed oil is, I don't really have any thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like another... I think with the black seed oil, I mean, I use it. I don't use it that much. Even when I put it in my sea moss, I don't put too much of it in. But um, I'm still doing my research on black seed oil. Because I just take that like every that. once in a while. I take that. Yeah, I'm still doing my research on black seed oil. When it comes. That's the only question mark a little bit, <laughs> you know. But I do use it, you know, support your support claims or support uh, uh, strengthen your immune system and stuff like that, okay. you know. But, um. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's something that we were actually talking about. Like, do I want to continue to put black seed oil in there? Like, is this natural or is this just man-made? That's the question. Right, right. So that's the only ingredients. Of oh, that. okay. So that's the what you're saying. Not because it made, because of how it's made. Right. Gotcha. So that's why I say I'm still doing my research on black seed oil okay. when it comes to that up. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you funny. know, because you know you can put a couple of things together and call it something. Right, you know, right, right, right. Like, grab some turmeric, grab some of this, right, grab right. a little light bulb, grab a little mm-hmm. paint, and boom, you yeah. got. I'm gonna call it creme de la creme. Yeah. What? Yeah. Put a fancy name on it, so you know. Um, but I was introduced to black seed oil by another uh, a nutritionist, actually. So, um, you know, so, you know, you kind of, when you hear from a, someone who's licensed mm-hmm. and, um, you know, who has more knowledge than you do in mm-hmm. that area, then you kind of, you know, okay, well, let me try it out. I'll give it a, tr- you know, try whatever. But that's why I label all my ingredients on my um, labels. Mm-hmm. Everything is labeled. Um, it tells you exactly what's in it, what I use, mm-hmm. alkaline water. And, um, yeah. Now, that's what's up. Um so if people wanted to find out how they can get some of this from you. Um, I am on Instagram. Oh, at I wanted to mention this. I'm sorry. Because mm-hmm. you also take this in lieu of. Because from the Crohn's you mentioned in. Hyperthyroid. Hyperthyroid that you don't take medication for. This is what you take. Yeah, I just take CMOS. Um, mm-hmm. CMOS is what I take every single day, two or three times a day. I give it to my children. Um like my son, he has asthma. I give him CMOS. You know, CMOS gets rid of the mucus and stuff like that. And I also rub peppermint oil on his chest. Like, I give him peppermint oil to bathe with. And so, mm. we don't really use... I mean, we have Dove at home. Don't get me wrong. I mm-hmm. love... Uh, <laughs> dove, dove, dove. dove. <laughs> but, for the most part, there's a lot of oils and natural stuff that yeah, we yeah, use. Yeah. You know, things that open up the lungs. You know, that's good for the body. And then even with the CMOS, I even have CMOS body butter. Because a lot of people don't realize that your skin carries a lot of bacteria. Mm-hmm. And, it, and um, so CMOS acts as a, what is it? Like, it gets rid of that harmful bacteria. And it's, and it's just like, have, you, you see a lot of um, products out here that says uh, with vitamin A or stuff. The vitamin A is that main ingredient, is that important ingredient in that body butter mm-hmm. that's, that's helping your skin. It's not the... This or the that they have. It's that vitamin A. That vitamin A fights off the bacteria, and it and, and you know just gets rid of the harmful bacteria. Right. It protects. It's like a protection for your skin. So, sea moss contains all that plus some collagen, everything. Like it's literally good for your mm-hmm. skin. And people understand when you're trying to be healthy, you have to be healthy inside and outside. So you can't walk around. I never understood why people. 
to each his own, but all this off brand stuff when it comes to putting off brand stuff on your body and in your body, mm-hmm. I'm just not with it. Like you walk around with name brand Jordans and you mean <laughs> to tell me you can't get you some good stuff mm-hmm. to consume? You know, like I mean, you can get the generic brand you can't afford, that's fine, but mm-hmm. I just feel like if you prioritize, you can afford the good stuff. Right, right, right. You know, versus I gotta get great value. <laughs> that part. Equate. You know, because I tried I tried to thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I said the cookouts. <laughs> you need those for the cookouts. <laughs> the tilapia. <laughs> they won't know the difference. Yeah, they ain't gonna know fish is fish. Fish is fish. <laughs> Batter on up. You know. <laughs> you see, I don't use flour. No. Like I don't use flour. No. You bake, you bake your fish or how you do it? I fry my fish. I fry my chicken without like, flour. Like, without flour. Flour's mm. not good for With you. Seasoning though. Flour's not good it. for you. No. If you season it right, it should be good. You have a thunk. You want another trick to it? I mean, you should know this. I get an egg and I crack it. Bow, get a little mustard. Bow. Oh, that becomes your on, batter. And you fry uh, your fish, your, your stuff. You don't need flour. Mind blown. For <laughs> <laughs> well, someone who don't cook, right. <laughs> no, he about to go. I'm gonna get me some chicken wings. Throw that thing in there. Like, that in the yeah, TV dinner. <laughs> Please don't do no TV dinners. You know what? I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Them hunger man used to be so good back then. I used to tell them hunger man. I might buy my son one or two, like the little meatloaf. I'm a rotisserie chicken in Publix salad. all day. Well, I'll get them from but Walmart. Oh, psh, you better stop that. Uh-oh. Go to Publix, get you some of that chicken. You I know, mean, that. I get it from there too, why, or why, why, or why Sam's Club. Like, right. You know, about to have Walmart looking at me all crazy. <laughs> I got to go there tonight. Oh. <laughs> I got to go get some Pampers from Walmart. Right, right. <laughs> That's her right there. <laughs> <laughs> she named names. <laughs> but I just prefer Publix because Publix tried to Publix deal with a lot of meat that does not have any. Hormones, All these byproducts, and, and yeah, stuff. byproducts mm-hmm. and stuff in there. So I prefer public. It's a little more expensive, but you pay for what you get. You, you get what you pay for, right? Yeah. You get yeah. So I got you. that's where I get my subs from. Public's got the best subs I was hands there line. down. Hands down. Lines be long. And the Hold people on that now. make them, they're so nice. Like, what, what else you want? What else you want? What else you want? Oh, that shredded what lettuce. What location <laughs> you at? I was like, oh, I, I, get, I can get that too? It depends what location. Child, true, true. they be ready to leave. Like, shoot, you see the long behind line? I used to work for Publix. I used to work at Publix in the deli section. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> Midtown, about 5 o'clock, you see a lot of them Mexicans out there because they out there working. Mm-hmm. So 5 so o'clock is more than lunchtime for them. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? Line, that line I be long, making yeah. three sandwiches at a time. So I ain't got time for y'all to have no attitude with me because you ready to eat. And your lunch break is only, what, 10, yeah, 20 minutes? And public line take you take you about 20 minutes to get to the front of the line. Mm-hmm. They have no sense of urgency, but the subs are so good. So That's why I go to Firehouse. <laughs> Ew. First of all. <laughs> Ew. Man, they tell yourselves are the bomb, Ew. man. <laughs> All I say is Publix, right. number one. Right. Go, uh, I've heard of Jimmy right. John's. Right. Jimmy John's pretty good. It's, <laughs> what's that name, Jimmy John's? Nah, yeah, it's Firehouse. Number three was, mm. I'll get in that. But Publix is definitely number one. Subway, no. Oh, you know, you know who else is good? Down the street, Mr. Everything. They sell subs? Mm-hmm. Since when? Uh, since I've known. Unless this is another Mr. Everything. I, think, I thought it was like the little bowl of rice They got that too, yeah. Stuff. But they sell subs when they... they they pack it with everything and then like chicken oh. f- subs type of stuff. Yeah. They cop it all Publix. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm they just yep. took it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, if so, you guys want to um, reach me, I'm on Instagram yeah, at man. Mother of CMOS. Um, Where we at? Yep. Instagram, Mother of CMOS. Mm-hmm. Email Mother CMOS at gmail.com. Um, you can also reach me at 678 789 5576. Place your orders. Mm-hmm. I meet, I deliver. Good I prices, ship. Reason, re- really reasonable right. prices. You get your eight ounce regular for ten dollars, and if you want to infuse, additional five dollars. You get your sixteen ounce for twenty dollars. If you want to infuse, twenty five dollars. Mm-hmm. A thirty two ounce for forty dollars, and if you want to infuse, fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. Then you get your bag and do it yourself. But I know people. They don't want to go through the process because yeah, it's a process. That's a process too, yeah. <laughs> Wash. I let mine soak for about three days because it expands. Mm-hmm. When when you let it soak, and then I use that water mm-hmm. to make the sea moss juice. <laughs> <laughs> the broth. Uh, yeah, the broth. <laughs> you take the laugh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in there. They'll be like, you in the lab earlier? Yes, whipping it up. Yes. Like a stir fry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the healthy version. Right, right, right. <laughs> Without the soy sauce. That's too funny. 